I'm Richard Southern in the 680 Newsroom. A winning week for stocks in the books. Corporate earnings help. We had some solid uh, reports, and including a big earnings report from Netflix. That company signing up 7.4 million new subscribers just within the last three months. Closer to home, Rogers Communications, parent company of City and 680 News, delivering a very strong first quarter numbers as well, with profit jumping more than 35% on a year-over-year -year basis, and the price of oil as well, hitting a three-and-a-half-year high. The infighting, the Civil War, Tim Hortons continued this week. The Franchise Advisory Board not happy, it says, with the large group of franchise owners that have banded together to push back against the Brazilian-owned head office. They've also appealed to the federal government, which is looking in to the takeover of Tim Hortons by Brazil's 3G Capital. A lot of people upset at Timmy's, including a poll found out uh, a growing number of Canadians. I had a chance to talk to the president of Tim Hortons, and I asked him why he thought so many people are upset at the brand right now. What I can say is that we're going to work really, really hard to regain the trust and confidence of anyone that might be upset with us. Many of the franchise owners would contend it's changes made by 3G and by restaurant brands that have led to this. Would you agree or disagree with that? No, I think that, you know, we're going to continue to focus on understanding uh, the needs of our guests. Franchise owners say the cost of coffee to them has gone up 15%, bagels up 20 bacon up 100 yet they haven't been allowed to raise their prices. How is that fair to them, Alex? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, franchisee profitability uh, is an uh, all-time high, so it's in a, in a very good place right now. Uh, and some, some prices will change with commodities as, as they come and go, and our role is to drive sales and keep our guests happy so that they keep coming back. Federal government investigating allegations that uh, restaurant brands fail to live up to promises made under the Investment Canada Act. What's the latest with this? I know that, you know, we've complied and reported each and every year without complaint for the government. So Minister Baines hasn't reached out to you? His office hasn't reached out to you on this yet? No, we're in constant communication uh, with the government, uh, but I have nothing to report other than we've, we've sent them everything that was requested over the last few years. And Tim Horton set to report earnings this coming Tuesday. Well, home renovations remain very popular for many Canadians, but here's a list now of some eye-popping renos you may not have thought of for your home, and they do come with some eye-popping prices. How about an indoor pool? Yeah, we'll take one. Could cost, though, 256 grand. Hidden passageways. No, they're not just in movies and novels. You can actually put one in your home anywhere from 500 to 8,000. There are companies that make these custom-built hidden bookcase store designs. Elevator. No more taking the stairs. Cheaper technology has made it more affordable, anywhere from 10 to 100,000. Bowling alley in the basement. It can be done, starting at 45 grand. Rock climbing wall, anywhere from one to 300, if you got a ceiling high enough. Heliport, now we're getting crazy, up to half a million. And don't forget your poppy doghouse mansions are po more popular than ever. You can spend 40 grand on it, believe it or not. They even some of them come with electricity. Forget buying in the city of Toronto. We know that's expensive when it comes to the real estate market, but renting more expensive than ever now, and the price is really growing quite quickly on a year-over-year -year basis. Take a look at this. The average bachelor, according to the Toronto Real Estate Board, selling or renting for $1,600 plus a month. The average one-bedroom going for almost $2,000. Two-bedroom at $2,600, and a three-bedroom apartment on average for more than $3,300. The vacancy rate remains at 1.6%. So tough to find an apartment even at those elevated prices. All right, when we think of Costco, what do we think of? Uh, bulk toilet paper, $2 hot dogs, probably not diamond rings. But this is what one Sky News reporter found in her local Costco this week. It's a six and a half carat diamond ring selling for more than $400,000. Turns out the warehouse chain actually sells a lot of these uh, diamonds. They have got a lot online, and a Costco spokesperson says every one of its stores has at least one wow item in the jewelry department. Who knew? All right, finally, a lot of coffee shops struggling now to keep in stock the latest in milk. It's another plant-based milk. It's called oat milk, and it's made by Swedish company Oatly. They make it by mixing oats with water, then they add a proprietary enzyme to break down the starch. Baristas say they love it for its hearty flavor. It has a creamy texture, they say, that mimics real milk and works well for latte art. And these sort of plant-based milks, they're all the rage, stealing market share away from dairy. Retail sales of traditional cow's milk projected to drop 1.2% this year, while alternatives like oat and almond are expected to climb by 3%. The plant-based milk industry now worth $16 billion a year. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.